Hi there, I'm Rana Martel. I'm one of the hygienists from Pickens Family Dentistry. Um, I happen to be in my house right now, as many of you are as well, uh, with the closures and stay-at-home orders um, due to the coronavirus. Um, myself and the other hygienists wanted to just give a quick um, video on how you can stay um, healthy uh, during this time. Uh, we know that our oral health affects our systemic or whole body health. And so um, these are just some tips to help keep your mouth as healthy as possible uh, during this time. These tips, of course, are great tips to keep in mind any time of year. Um, so if there's some, if you're doing all of these great, um, you may find that you um, hear something you haven't been doing and try to work it into your uh, routine. So the first thing, uh, speaking of routines, is uh, remembering to do your daily oral hygiene. So in a perfect world, we would be brushing after every meal, uh, but minimally we would want to brush um, at least twice a day, uh, typically in the morning after a meal, and at the end of the day after dinner. Um, also finding a way to clean between your teeth. Uh, this could be flossing, uh, proxy brush, toothbrush, water pick, uh, if you have something you're using and it's working for you, keep it up. Um, a lot of people are finding their routines have been changed. Um, and so if you're not leaving the house every day, you know, sometimes you can forget to um, do all of the steps of your routine. So <clears throat> setting a reminder in your cell phone can be a great way to be consistent with that. Um, some things to keep in mind is that um, bleeding in your mouth from your gums is not normal. It can be common, uh, but it can be a sign of gingivitis or periodontitis. Uh, both of those end in itis, so we know that they are referring to inflammation. As we talked about, inflammation in our mouth can affect inflammation throughout the rest of our body, so we want to um, improve that. Bleeding should go away sometimes within a few days of, a, of starting a new routine, uh, but typically within a week or two. And if that bleeding doesn't go away, it could be a sign of a, a bigger problem that does and would require professional care. Um, I have some videos that are going to be included at the uh, with a link, and they um, will include some proper brushing and flossing technique and also more information about gingivitis and periodontitis. Um, sensitivity, that's my second topic of the three today. Uh, sensitivity can be a painful issue. Um, again, this is something that can be common, but it doesn't mean uh, you have to deal with it or that you have to put up with it. So the most common sensitivity with teeth is cold sensitivity. Um, this can come from a lot of different um, sources. So it could be an area of recession. A recession can come from brushing too hard or clenching or grinding um, or even the position of specific teeth. So being mindful to keep your toothbrush um, replaced frequently. Uh, the recommendation is every three months, or if you start to see the bristles splay out, uh, that is a sign that you need to replace it sooner. Um, if the bristles are splayed out though, that could be a sign that you're brushing too hard, which again could be contributing to recession and or the sensitivity, uh, cold sensitivity. Um, the other thing, clenching, grinding, another word for that is called bruxism. That can be um, something you're doing during the day, clenching or grinding without noticing it, or it can happen in our sleep um, at nighttime when we're totally unaware. Um, so that could be a source of um, sensitivity in teeth as well. Um, there are products um, over the counter that can help. Something um, sensitive products, um, some common brands are Sensodyne. They have a new one that works uh, they say faster called rapid relief. Um, there are also sensitive toothpaste products from uh, Crest and Colgate. Um, now, hot sensitivity, pressure sensitivity, or biting sensitivity uh, can be a sign of a, of a bigger problem, something that won't go away with just an over-the-counter product. So um, it could be a sign of a cracked tooth or a cavity or something else that requires um, professional treatment. Um, so if you're trying a sensitive toothpaste, if uh, sensitivity doesn't go away or gets worse, please know that you can call the office and get a hold of Dr. Pickens. Um, he is actually able to offer um, a no-visit 
limited dental exam um, virtually so you could see him, maybe show him uh, what's going on in your mouth and help find um, a solution or relief for you. Uh, the third topic out of the three short tips I wanted to give you today is fighting cavities. Kind of going back to that routine um, issue that some of us are dealing with right now. Um, maybe you find that you're snacking more often, um, you know, in and out of the pantry or uh, refrigerator. Um, what we know is that bacteria that causes cavities loves the same food we do, or even, um, you know, coffee, um, anything acidic, uh, sparkling waters, um, et cetera. So carbs and acidity in our diet frequently throughout the day um, can increase our risk of cavities. Um, so being mindful, you know, trying not to graze or snack uh, too often, um, and also including proteins and vegetables in your meals or snacks. Um, and then another tip that I love to keep on hand in my purse or at home, or when school is in session, I throw in my daughter's lunch box are the xylitol mints. Uh, you could also get xylitol containing chewing gum. Um, you want xylitol to be the number one ingredient. So that means there's more of it in that product. Uh, myself, I like the brand Spry, S-P-R-Y. Uh, they have several flavors to choose from. You can get them at most um, natural grocers or uh, of course online. Um, I will also include a few uh, other videos as I mentioned um, about uh, cracked tooth, um, also about bruxism, which is clenching or grinding in your teeth, and then also the progression of uh, decay or cavities. Um, early small beginning cavities are not painful, um, and so early detection is, um, is very important, which is why we like to see you for routine uh, dental visits. Um, but if you are starting to get some of those signs and symptoms, pain sensitivity, it could um, mean that sooner we get treatment, the better. So we hope you are all well, staying healthy, and um, we look forward to seeing you soon.